Today we're going to be talking about setting up basic device monitoring. So one of the most important things to understand first is passive versus active monitoring. Passive being when the IMC and, and or the NMS is actually going out and asking the device, hey, tell me how many packets you've got going through your interfaces. Hey, tell me how you're doing. Um, active monitoring is when the device actually takes an active role in its monitoring. So this could be things like Armon, um, sending syslog messages, or in what we're looking at today, SNMP traps. So let's take a look. So the first thing we're going to do is go in and set up IMC for what your system defaults are for monitoring. So system, system configuration, and default monitoring indices here at the bottom. So by default, IMC uh, will automatically monitor some things like CPU usage, memory usage, um, device defect, which would be things like um, response time, um, availability, those kind of things. But you'll al also probably want to turn on things like interface statistics. So a real common one is interface uh, in and out bandwidth usage in a percentage. So you can tell you know, you're know you running at 60% on your links. Um, maybe to you might be interesting the receiving transmit of broadcasting rate on those same links. And perhaps you actually want to have the, the real traffic rate, not just the percentages. So we've got a lot of options here. Um, We'll choose those ones for now. Click Save. So now we've created a system default. So the next time you discover a device, those are the things that are going to be monitored by default. So let's say you've already discovered devices and you want to turn all those on. We're going to click Add Indexes. And you're going to wait a while, perhaps a good time to have a coffee. And then we're going to come back and we will get our, uh, our little report here. And you'll see partially succeeded on some. And you can drill down into these. Um, if you have devices in the database that are not currently on the network, you will see uh, a few failed here. So these are uh, devices in here which I have discovered, but I don't have turned on at the moment. And then you'll see the devices we actually care about. Um, in this case, the HP 5500EI. We'll click on the succeeded, and we'll be able to go in and see exactly what we're, we're monitoring and on what ports. So what's interesting here is you'll notice that we didn't grab all the ports we just grabbed a subset and this is why let's click on the monitor option so you probably don't want to monitor everything in a switch by default you probably want to grab the ones that are of interest to you so by default um, we will only monitor the up interfaces that meet these requirements we will filter out anything that is not an S connected to an SNMP device so these would be hopefully your, your trunk links and your switch links or connected to servers so that would be a, a any OS that has SNMP turned on so by default we're not going to be doing polling on connected PCs so the last thing we want to do on the IMC is to go over resource performance management and look at the global index settings so this is where we set the thresholds to generate alarms if you go above a certain threshold um, so in this case, we'll look at the interface statistics again, and we'll see what the defaults are here. So we're going to go system interface statistics, and we'll uh, we'll look at one here. for So for the interface transmitting rate, um, if we are greater than 10 megs for three consecutive poles, we will generate a minor alarm. And if we're greater than 50 megs, we'll generate a major alarm. Or in the case of the uh, bandwidth usage here, if we're above 60%, minor. 90% major, 300 per second, 300 second polling interval, which is of course approximately five minutes. So these are all adjustable on a system basis or on a per device basis. So now we're logged into an HP 5500EI running Commware V5. So um, this has already been set up, so I'm just going to run some display commands for you here. So display current configuration, and we'll pipe uh, begin SNMP. Um, typo, enter. We'll try that again. So display current configuration begin. SNMP, so the pipes allow you to uh, go through and kind of grep through your configuration, similar to some other operating systems you might know about. So let's uh, scan in here and look what we want to actually see. So you can see down here we've got the SNMP community, write public, um, private and public. Uh, again, don't do that. But what we're really concerned about is the SNMP agent target host trap address commands here. So this will ensure that your device is sending out SNMP traps 
to the IMC host so that the IMC host can escalate those to alarms. So what SNMP traps are configured? Well, let's do an SNMP trap dash list and hit enter. And so by default, you've got your ARP traps, your BFD traps. Um, you've got basically all uh, 11 traps are enabled right now. And things like reboots, things like um, just any general power supply failures, hardware issues, all those kind of things, OSPF traps, all that will be covered in this by default. So you, you might want to actually look and disable some of these just to make sure that um, you're getting the events that you want to get. So to recap here, um, make sure that you get your passive and your active covered. So make sure that you have the IMC polling actively and make sure your devices are, are taking an active part in their management. So sending SNMP traps, take a look at InfoCenter for syslog information, take a look at Armon if that's appropriate, SFlow even. Um, make the devices participate and actively send out information. It's really going to help uh, help you get a lot more out of your IMC. Um, we went over IMC system setup. Look at the system defaults. Make a couple of edits. I think you'll be a lot happier. And again, make sure your devices are actually configured properly. See you guys next time on the next IMC management tutorial.